the Linux distros out there, Zorin OS is among the easiest to set up, offering a great entry point for new Linux users. With Windows 7 officially dead, it's particularly handy, as Zorin OS has a vaguely Windows-like UI that should make the jump pretty easy. But is Zorin OS any good? Better than Ubuntu? Find out in our review. Hi, this is Phil from Ectochesia, and this is Zorin OS 15.1 Review. A good Windows replacement? Hailed as the last good version of Windows by many, Windows 7 is now officially retired. Zorin OS's creators know this leaves a massive chunk of users with a choice between two equally uncomfortable solutions. Upgrade to Windows 10 or jump ship to Linux. This is primarily the user group Zorin OS targets and to Microsoft's chagrin, and as we'll see, is probably the better choice. Installation and first contact. Zorin OS is at least as easy, if not more so, as the easiest to install Linux distribution available today. Its installation is almost identical to Ubuntu's. Some highlights worth mentioning would be option to test it in a live environment or install it as the industry norm does, option to install third-party drivers and codecs. Allows you to share data with its developers to count you as an active user, but it's opt-in and disabled by default. Supports LVM, or Logical Volume Manager. Like Ubuntu, there are accessibility options available, albeit hidden in an extra menu, somewhat defeating their ease of access purpose, but also the option to use Wayland as the desktop environment's back end. Looks and customization. I personally dislike the welcome windows that turn up after the installation of many distributions. Thankfully, Zorin OS throws you straight at its minimalistic based on GNOME desktop, a wallpaper, a toolbar, and that's it. After one or two clicks, Zorin might notify you that updates are available. You can install them immediately, ask it to remind you later, or seize the opportunity to check out its settings. I don't know if that's a bug, since I usually update my installations through Bash, but enabling any of the three options under Install Updates From in the Updates tab of the Software and Updates windows just wouldn't stick. The update procedure itself is painless, and you only have to acknowledge its completion. One click on the clock in the toolbar displays a typical daily information panel with a mini view of the month's calendar, notifications and a do not disturb setting, and support for world clocks and a weather forecast. Zorin OS is that rare breed of modern OS with a rational structure in its settings. Want to add a photograph to your account? Click its thumbnail preview and select the image file you desire. Maybe you don't like the default applications. Change them by visiting default applications. In a world where almost every OS, from Windows 10 to many Linux distributions, you have to rely on some form of search to find the specific option you are looking for, Zorin OS's organisation of all its settings is a breath of fresh air. Features and programs In its based on GNOME core version, Zorin OS offers three different predefined desktop layouts. Based on your decision, it can alter the taskbar to a dock or hybrid appearance and swap a typical start menu for a grid of larger icons or you can manually customise its elements as you wish. Although we didn't test it, the light version based on XFCE presents similar visual customization options with almost identical aesthetics. Zorin OS allows you to easily change the accents of the active theme, swap themes and icon sets. Not only does Zorin OS offer a dark version of its main theme, it also supports setting up a time schedule for it. By setting it up, you can have a light version of the theme during the day, switching automatically to its dark variant when the sun goes down. Online friendly, Zorin OS supports for connecting to Google, Nextcloud, Facebook, Microsoft, Flickr, Pocket, Foursquare, Microsoft Exchange, Todoist, IMAP and SMTP, and Enterprise Login with Kerberos. Zorin OS comes with support for remote access screen sharing through VNC. It's somewhat slower than Windows Remote Desktop for anyone looking to make the jump, but it's more versatile and it doesn't force you to buy a professional license to get it. Buried in the settings about your displays, Nightlight can utilise the computer's camera to make your screen colours warmer during the night. Minimising the screen's blue light has been proven to increase sleep quality, especially if you use your computer late at night. Zorin's default software isn't anything to write home about, it's how it's implemented and presented that matters. Perusing its menu, you will find software like Firefox, Files, LibreOffice, Gedit, Brazero, Gimp, Rhythmbox, Videos, Calendar, Todo, Dejar, Dupe, Disk Usage Analyzer, and Zorin Connect for phone sync and remote functionality. 
Nothing restricts you to Zorin OS's collection of installed software. Its software center allows you to expand it with everything but the kitchen sink. Although it might not be presented as a solid alternative to Windows, Zorin OS is also worth a look for everyone tired of trying to grasp with some distribution's approach to organization. It's uncomplicated in its use, beautiful to look at, and fast. What's not to like? Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.